Hello. Today's lesson is on page 56 and it's about writing. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to write a semi-formal email. So let's start. First exercise. Okay. Read this excerpt from a letter. Is it formal or informal? Think of three questions you would ask about the prize mentioned in the letter. The extract is following. Dear Miss Red, we are delighted to inform you that you have won first prize in our ideal school meals competition. The menu you suggested represents an ideal combination of healthy and exciting food. Your prize is a place on one of our Teen Cuisine Weekend Cookery courses for teenagers at the Manchester School of Cookery. For more information, please contact Diane Walsh at dwalsh at msc.org and include details of any cookery experience you may have so that we can place you in the correct group. Okay, now, the question was, is it formal or informal? I'm quite sure that you all, that all of you have answered correctly that this is an example of formal letter. Well done. Now, the, the next question in this part was to think of three questions you would ask about the prize mentioned in the letter. I suppose that all your questions would be about the dates and times of the ne next course or about some a cookery course that uh, that person could take in the future. Let's move on. Number three. Next exercise. Some parts of Mia's email are too informal. Match the underlined words in the email with these more suitable formal, formal alternatives. Before we start doing the exercise, we are going to read Mia's letter. Okay? Let's do it. Hi, Diane. Thanks for your letter telling me that I have found a competition. I'm very happy and can't wait for the team cuisine experience. I'm getting in touch to ask for more information about the course. I have lots of questions that I hope you can answer. First, what are the dates and times of the next course? I would also like to know what I need to bring with me. I do not have my own special clothing or, or kitchen stuff. You ask about cookery experience, and in fact, I have never done a cookery course before. However, we did have some cookery lessons at school, and I do quite a lot of cooking at home. You mentioned placing me in the correct group but you didn't say which levels are available. Thank you once again for choosing my menu as the winner. Write back and answer my question soon. Yours sincerely, Mia Red. Some parts of Mia's email are too informal. Match the underlined words in the email with these more suitable formal alternatives. We have read Mia's letter and now, instead of thanks, telling, we're happy, can't wait for stuff and similar, we have here different formal impressions more appropriate for the style of the email. Okay, so equipment is stuff. She used stuff. Informing, telling. I'm looking forward to. She has used, I can't wait for. A number of, she has used lots of. Thank you. She has used thanks. Please. She has used happy. So, on the right side are informal expressions. On the left side are formal expressions which are more suitable for this type of email. Let's continue. Exercise number four. Match the phrases in pink in the email with these more formal alternatives. Hi Diane, getting in touch, I'm 
write back and answer my questions and what are you didn't say what are and you didn't say okay i hope to hear from you what has mia used write back and answer my questions great i am she has used abbreviation or short form i'm but in formal letter we can't use short forms then could you clarify instead of you didn't say she should use could you clarify da li možete da pojasnite da objasnite she hasn't used dear miss walsh but hi diane you can't use that informal opening for for this formal email contacting you she has used getting in touch and what are instead of what are she should use could i ask about okay so remember these phrases you will need them when writing your own email formal one number five read the writing focus and complete it with phrases writing focus is about the structure of this letter this type of letter or email and as you can see we have the opening part we have body and last part or closing let's start with the first one in the opening part it's important to start the email politely pay attention dear sir or dear madam if you don't know the name of the person you're writing to but know whether they are a man or a woman then dear sir or madam if you don't know the name or gender of the person you're writing to dear mr or dear mrs to a married woman or dear miss to an unmarried woman plus surname dear miss plus also surname if you don't know if the woman is married or not what can we add from here yes dear miss walsh so we are not sure if the person is married or not and we just put an s okay do not use informal phrases instead of thanks always thank you instead of lots of several a number of then contractions i am we already explained in the previous last uh, previous exercise it's i am don't do not and similar in the first paragraph refer to the letter email advert you are responding to and say why you are writing thank you for your letter email informing me that or regarding so here we'll add what i'm contacting you to inquire about or to ask for okay now body in the main body paragraphs use polite expressions in direct questions to ask for information i would also like to know what i need to drink now we have a question we will complete it with a part could i ask about the dates and times of next course if something is unclear ask for clarification could you clarify which levels are available could you confirm or could you explain when where what how whether or if and similar in closing in the final paragraph mention that you would like a reply i look forward to receiving your reply soon so i hope to hear from you soon is the other expression if you start with dear sir dear ma de, dear madam or dear sir or madam example if you don't include the names of the person you're writing to and with yours faithfully 
but if you include the name of the person you are writing to and with yours sincerely. Number six. Choose the more formal alternative. In each of these six uh, examples, you have two options. Number one. So we are, uh, just pay attention, we are choosing the more formal alternative. Hello, dear, or dear Mr. Stain. Dear Mr. Stain. Number two. Thank you for contacting, contacting me or thanks for your email. Thank you for contacting me. Great. I would like to inquire about the date of the visit or what's the date of the visit? Certainly. I would like to inquire about the date of the visit. Number four. Are travel and accommodation also free for, for my friend? Could you confirm whether travel and accommodation... <coughs> Sorry are also free for my friend. B. Bravo. Number five. I look forward to hearing from you or please write back soon. I look forward to hearing from you. And the last one. Do we conclude with all the best or your sincerely? Your sincerely. Okay. Great. For homework. You'll go through the writing task and see what you are supposed to write about. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and that you now are able to write a semi-formal letter. See you next time. Thank you for your attention. Stay well. Bye.